Our army can't look after cabbages. I can't hire them in my farm to go and look after cabbages. What kind of an army is this one that gets easily attacked in a base? If, if you are saying you've got the army and with so much money being used, South African deployment of soldiers to DRC is out of order. It must be withdrawn with immediate effect. Not that South Africa is not supposed to deploy in DRC. We're supposed to deploy in DRC and be in the forefront. We just don't have the army. Our army can't look after cabbages. I can't hire them in my farm to go and look after cabbages. We just don't have the army. The ANC has collapsed the army. That's why in the manifest of the EFF we say, we will finance the army and make sure that it's properly trained and the necessary equipment needed for the success of the army is provided. The army has collapsed. How, how come the, the AK-47s just enter South Africa with ease? Look at what KwaZulu Natal has become now where guns are found with ease. AK-47 is associated with Mozambique. It's even on their logo. The flag of Mozambique has got AK-47 because that is a, a weapon of their choice. It has never been for us. Unless in exile, in MK and APLA and all of that. But we as a country, we don't count amongst ourselves the weapons that we prefer, AK-47. So it tells you this thing is entering somewhere. Where is the army? It's not there. There's no army. So they are sent there to be killed because they are not properly trained. They must come back home and we must stop with any military deployment until we are fit and proper. Just take a walk and look at a South African soldier walking. You see a demoralized man who's carrying a rifle and you see that rifle is heavy on him. He's not even fit to carry that rifle. They killed it. So, Cyril Ramaphosa wants to kill our children in DRC. Those rebels, they are, they are well equipped. Who goes to a base of an army if you know that thing is an army and is powerful? You go to the base once you have undermined them. Huh? Base. That's why all of the army in the battlefield, when things are bad, they are called to retreat to the base. Because that's where you can regroup and attack. No, they come to a base. That's how weak you are. They come to a base and finish you off in your base. We, we, are, we were undermined to that level. And it's not for the first time. We were beaten uh, in Central eh? Central African Republic. Central African Republic. Also, in the base. We are attacked in the base. What kind of an army is this one that gets easily attacked in a base? If, if you are saying you've got the army and with so much money being used to go and finance the ANC election campaign. Because that's what they are doing. They are sending those soldiers there. The last time, you remember, the soldiers, SG, were complaining that they are deployed it was it July unrest or something? Mm. They didn't have food. Yes. They didn't have food. Mm. The soldiers did not have food. So who's going to fight with an empty stomach? How are you going to shoot that rifle with an empty stomach? They, they are not being fed. The situation has deteriorated. Mm. How do you have a base of the army in Northern Cape burning down without the army having the capacity to extinguish the fire itself. What if it was another country burning our army? 
our army base. How is there? We're not going to defend ourselves. So many soldiers died in that base because there are no necessary equipment to deal with emergency like that. So, for you to open a lodge, SG, or to open a, this building, you are always asked, where are your safety plans? And they even want fire extinguisher certificates and all of that. Lodges of South Africa are more safer than army bases of South Africa. Because the army base has got no fire extinguisher to a point where the army base gets burned and our brothers die. On a, on a normal day, it's not war. On a normal day, it's not a war. You are sitting like that, the fire starts. It's not like, okay, we're fighting them, they're burning this side, we have to extinguish this side and run to the... Eh, eh. On a normal day, there is a fire coming from there. It, it burns all of you. The last line of defense. So I will never agree that there must be any army of South Africa deployed anywhere, not under the circumstances. We have to re-equip and retrain our army. They say there are two fighter jets. What do you call Roy, Roy Falk? There in DRC with these soldiers. They are there. We are paying for them and all of that. They have never been in the air for more than a year. For more than a year. What are they doing in DRC? Because those are fighter jets. They must go there to fight. Eh, eh. Get decoration. Get art. In the base, they, they're using Roy Falk as art. Eh, you take decoration. Plum board. Well, you, you take the whole Roy Falk, you turn it into plum board. My brother, we are not entertaining critics. We are not entertaining any critics. We made history and that's what we are claiming. When we claim our victory, you can't say we are entertaining critics. After every rally, you have a duty to come back in this fashion and give a report of how you see, how you see things and how you are planning going forward. That's what we are doing. Our rally in KZN was successful and the numbers were satisfying. We filled up that stadium and were happy with it. And we filled up that stadium uh, with young people. Oh, go and look at those pictures. The youth is not interested in politics. Go and look at those pictures. I was struggling to find uh, old people there. Someone that looked old, close to old, was CD. Other than that, I, I didn't see any old person. So, we filled up that thing. We're not entertaining our critics. Let me tell you, we never had a poster of that rally outside KZN. 